guess, got like the 3100 here, bringing you some stick figure animation. It's um an update from my last video about this. I've learned some more stuff. You can actually see my mouse now. And um, let's get started. I mean, this is going to be awesome. So, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's right here. Um, link will be in the description for you guys after you opened it all up, downloaded it, whatever you need to do. You need to get this. And you'll see how you can get um getting started if I didn't cover it. You can uh, find your own like tutorial right here and under here. Um these are your recent documents, which is the ones you've created. I've created two. I'll show you my best one, which is head power. Um and also I have dot S T Y K Z at the end. Um as you save it, unless you want I think I actually yeah, I think I'll keep it like that. Um, now, when you open this to create a new document, which is right down here, which is obviously because it's labeled create a new document, I like to do the default document. I mean, I don't like to change anything um, or anything like that. I recommend putting uh, all these commands and everything, controls, all together. Like, I think this one was like over here and this was over here. But I like to keep it together so you don't have to go really far because you're going to be hitting next frame a lot. Um, so yeah, um, so to move this guy, you just click on this yellow circle and you can move him. And the red circles will rotate. If uh, Yeah, rotate on the other ones. Um, I found something else. Uh, when you go on, say you want to draw something else off this body. What you can do is off the center, you can right click the yellow circle and it turns red. And then you drag out and unclick and it draws something, which is this. And then you can go ahead and delete it if you want, if you messed up. Um, what else do I got? I can, uh, when you click on it, when you click on the guy, you can see over here that all these are highlighted. So you can do is delete him, you can uh, edit him, which is using that, uh, center him from the middle, flip him, I don't know, like, yeah, it just flips him over or something. You can change the color. I like this because um, you can change, uh, say you want a lifesaver, you can draw it and then change the color. <laughs> and you can change him to blue, and then you hit OK, um, segments on only, and we can like that. Um, you can change the scale, say you want, um, 50%, it'll get smaller, and say you want 150%, it'll get bigger. Um, the front and back, it's the same. Um, to delete them, you just click on them, and just go and hit delete. To add a figure of the same guy, you hit this, uh, right here and adds a new guy. I uh, actually like this figure right below it and it's uh, really skinny um, so you can do awesome stuff with that um, delete him. You can also hit the backspace after he's red um, you can hit the backspace and it'll delete him. Uh, so what else do I have? I have uh, over here I don't, this is also to edit. This I think is to fill in, I'm not sure what it really does, but you have to click three different spots. Here, uh, I can try to show you. There, and I guess you can delete that area or something. Um, and look, it kind of makes a blue right around here. I don't know, real, I don't really know what it does, so. Um, yeah, so this one right here is to draw, uh, obviously, straight lines. You click and drag and then click again. And it'll become something like this. And yes, you can like rotate it. Hold on. Rotate it somewhat like this. And rotating. And then to delete, you do the same thing. You make it so it's red. And then that. Um, you can change the color of this. Um, very simple. It's the same thing. Yeah, just click on it once. Right there. There you go. Color. Change the color to blue, dark blueish, and it becomes a little bit dark bluish. I'll change it to 
lighter color so you can actually see it there we go and now uh, I don't want that anymore and this you can do the same thing draw circles and you can change the color um, this again you just click drag and then right click again I mean left click again uh, obviously to delete it you can uh, click on it and just delete it um, Alright, I think that's uh, it for over here, but um, to do the next frame, you just click this. First, you, what I recommend is do the, uh, doing next frame immediately, so it's at the beginning. And then say you want him to, see, kick his leg, alright? So you move it, and you'll see a shadow right here, which is awesome because you can tell what happened before. So you don't move it that far. And um, if you don't like it, you can hit undo, and it'll go back to its original. Um, so what you do is you do that, you hit next frame, and um, I recommend is doing it really slowly up. Um, you don't want to go too fast from different segments. I'll show you when I'm going, or different frames, not segments, but uh, I'll show you when I'm go uh, when the leg's coming down. If you go too far, like right here. It doesn't look good. It just looks like it's really jumpy. So after that, after you finish that, you hit. You see that was only nine. That was nine frames to just do his leg up and down. Um, you can change the speed of the frame right here and to loop it, which I will do. Um, you do that and you just click it and it'll turn red. And to uh, play it, you just hit the play button. See how it's pretty smooth going up and then just jumps down. Um, you can make it really smooth by um, taking your time going up. Uh, you can also speed it up, um, I think I'll speed it up, uh, all the way it can go, 33, see, and, uh, that's really fast, and to lowest speed I think is under, it's just one, and it's one frame per second, really slow, so, um, I think that's all I need to do, you can hit new frame down here again, I'll just change your frame, and, uh, to delete a frame you just click it, either do it like that and say delete or you can just hit the actually now you have to do it that or you can go up here and hit is it can you do it yeah and you can undo delete frame and you can insert frame that way I don't like inserting that way because you have two buttons right here for next frame and next frame or new frame which is awesome um, another thing I've learned is when you go to figure and you go to this you get like this little dot. I don't know if you saw that, but it's um actually there isn't a dot there. I can't see it. So what you do is you right click and you can draw like a uh, straight line or something instead of going over here. But I think it's easier if you go over there. So you, you know, I just want to delete all these. All right, and to delete um again. So say you want the head to fall off or anything other. I recommend just deleting the head or deleting the head and just drawing on a new one but make sure that this circle right here the yellow one is facing up so you can actually pull it away or something like that if you know what I mean um, arrange you can do a square right here so it makes a square and you can uh, rotate it and stuff. Um, what else you got? We have circles and everything. Actually, uh, yeah, I think that's it. You can do everything from figure. So you want a line. Makes a line. All right, I think that's it. Um, post your questions in the description. Um, not the description. The comments below. Um, if you want, uh, if you guys have any good um, stick figure animation, send them in. I'll probably do a uh, top 10. If you want, just email it to me at skelly3100.com. It will be in the description. Um, I'll do like a top 5, top 10 best animations if I get enough people. Um, as soon as I get 5, I'll probably post it and show you guys. And it'll be pretty cool. Um... I think that's it. Uh, I'm not really going to do much of this because it's alright. Um, 